They love their crab cakes and they love their football. That's what Maryland does. And we are at M&T Bank Stadium down near the Inner Harbor of Baltimore. Here's a scene a short time ago. The Ravens introduced to this sellout crowd and through a sea of pyrotechnics, out they came from the tunnel. We're set to go as the Ravens get ready to match up with the Kansas City Chiefs. So Baltimore trotting back out here for their next drive on offense. So Charles wanted to discuss their game this past week against Cleveland. You broadcasted that one, and Baltimore looked really good. A 38-6 victory just dominating the Cleveland Browns. You remember last year's opener, Baltimore really stepped on the scene in a big way with a 59-10 win over Miami. They kind of did the same thing here in 2020. And remember, Jackson hit, and he lost the football. But it looked like a Raven was able to get in there, and they will indeed keep the possession. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. Jackson from the shotgun. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 15 yards last play and 15 yards here this go around. First and 10 at the 47. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I don't think there's any doubt that if it's me, I'd be really cautious about continuing to call this play because you got to know, defenders, if they get a free shot at the QB, they want to take it, and they want to take it big. And they got it there on the option play for a loss. Jackson's throw on target to Willie Sneed, and he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 33. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. 33-yard line. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag because when you do, you just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. The impressive opening drive continues and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way, aren't we? We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. They'll run for the first time with Mark Ingram. He'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. The ball carrier. Tackle made at the 16-yard line. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. The decision to keep it turns out to be a good one. 11 yards in the first down. Pretty nice play here. They go read option, read the defensive end, and when he collapsed down inside, how about the quarterback pulling it, keeping it, and not only getting to the second level, but picking up some really nice yardage. Very, very well read. Five yards from the end zone, first and goal. Give him four on the carry there. It's second and goal. They're mounting a nice drive here. Good chunk of yardage there again. O-line, they've been solid this drive. They have that look about them right now that says, if you do anything but run the ball behind us, you're crazy. They have really moved it well on this drive, and they want to finish it off the same way. They'll look to run with Ingram. And this will result in him losing yardage. Back to the three. It's a loss of two, now third down. A loss of two That's a really play. alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. 
And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. This is a long drive offensively. Wouldn't you hate to end this with just three points? Doesn't it feel like during a ball game you have certain narratives going on and there's certain drives that seem to take on just a bit more importance than others? This feels like one of those, doesn't it? To me, three points here, a major letdown. This is the time to go and put six on the board. Ingram denied on fourth and goal. And on the opening drive of the ball game, the defense comes up with a goal line stand. The football going back over to Kansas City. And for the Chiefs, you know, we obviously haven't had a repeat champion in the NFL, Charles, in 16 years. But now, there was nothing in Casey's performance in week one in that win over Houston to think that they're not the favorites right now to repeat. A very convincing 34-20 victory on the Thursday night opener. What do you think their chances are, realistically? It seems like a lot of people like them to repeat. What do you think, CD? I thought they were good before. I think they're excellent now because we saw a team that took care of business in the offseason came out ready to play. Patrick Mahomes was 24-32, 211 yards, three touchdown passes, and showed off all the different arm angles we're used to seeing from Patrick Mahomes. And how about Tyreek Hill? He was spectacular in that game, and the first round pick, running back Clyde Edwards-Hilaire, he got the start and went well over 100 yards. I give them a great chance to repeat for this reason. Their defense is even better than it was at the end of last year. Now they can breathe a little easier, some room to operate as they've got it first and 10 now out past the 20. Looking downfield for Kelt. He's got a man complete. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. A 28 yard. A really good pickup of 28 yards. I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere, and they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people, but you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well, and that's what they just did on that play. Now the Holmes throw complete to his tight end, Kelsey, and he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. I know it's a little bit of a cliche to talk about all the tight ends who are really wide receivers in the NFL, but Travis Kelsey fits that perfectly. He led all tight ends last season with over 1,200 yards receiving, fourth in the NFL. I think he's one of the gold standards in the league for the tight end position, and I don't know if anyone has any more fun playing the game than Travis Kelsey. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. And for Clyde Edwards, Alaire, no breaking him in gently in his NFL debut. Folks wondered if guys like Darwin Thompson and Darrell Williams might factor in a bit more, but not week one. 25 carries, 138 yards, and a touchdown in Clyde Edwards, Alaire's Chiefs debut. Mahomes firing complete. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Here's Edwards Alaire. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Four yards to pick up, first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. seem in a rush I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there right no up tempo at all clock just ran out I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game first and 15 That's a gain of 11. Would have been a first down if not for that penalty moments ago. Hey, we know Pat Mahomes can run it. We saw it right there, but you get the sense when he takes off, every Chiefs fan is just saying, hey, 
be careful. You get the sense, right, that everyone's holding their breath? Yes. And no one's exhaling until he gets up? Well, that makes perfect sense, but the reason that play works well for him when he decides to keep it and run, because of respect for his arm. He throws it so well and so often that when he does make the decision to run, it's usually wide open. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. Edwards Alaire, they'll try to run for it. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. You don't see that a ton, do you? A cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle. That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field. He sees that the ball has moved to the middle and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well played. Well, they didn't get in the end zone, but pretty good balance there on the opening drive between the run and the pass. Yeah, I think that that was probably what they wanted to get accomplished right out of the gate. Throw the ball with success, run it, of course, to set the tone. So we saw the offensive coordinator's play sheet, probably wrote himself a little note, exactly what we wanted to do. Probed it early and got it done. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. And last time, they had it fourth and goal, rolled the dice, didn't get it. Now they've got to put that behind him, try to put together another drive. A yeah, simple tip of the cap, a nod of the head to the defense. Congratulations, you got us last time. But you didn't hold us the whole time. We got down to position. We were able to be in position to score. Let's go ahead and attack again. Continue to have that kind of confidence. Not worry about the one play that didn't allow him to get into the end zone. And this time they'll be trying to get it into the end zone. We'll see what they do. Well, if you're going to run the read option, typically, you've got to keep an eye on the defensive end. And what does that mean? What are you looking for with the defensive end? Well, you want to play off of what he does. If he collapses inside towards the running back, then you pull it and take it yourself outside in. If he stays outside, you go ahead and leave it with the running back. In this case, pulled it and got good yardage himself. That second down play, that's a minus four. Well, they have had success when he keeps the ball in the option, but not there. I mean, you just saw exactly why many old NFL coaches would say, don't use your quarterback in the running game. On third down, Jackson. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, they've moved the ball okay here in these first two drives, but this one's going to, again, amount to nothing. They've got to start dialing up some plays that allow them to finish drives with points. So on fourth down, here's Sam Cook to punt it away. Nicole Hardman, pro bowler last year as a rookie, is deep for KC. Call that a 45-yard punt, just two yards there on the return. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. to throw it's Mahomes they'll set up the screen to Edwards Alaire and they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44 first play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down nice little nifty play for him there yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily and I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield because I know that when I used to cover 
Hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. The Chiefs with the football as we start the second quarter, as they've got it with a first and ten. Play action, it's Mahomes. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. Cornell McPhee always a threat to find the QB, and he gets to him there. Now we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. So they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Tyreek Hill certainly makes the front office look good when they spend a fifth-round pick on a guy then in his first four seasons, four Pro Bowl nominations. Anytime he touches the football, he's a threat to take it the distance. Hard to get on the ground one-on-one -on -one in the open field. If you miss, in the blink of an eye, he's putting six on the board. It'll go as a gain of 10 and a Kansas City first down. First well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. Being chased out left. He's got the first down here inside the 30. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. Kansas well, that was man coverage. So once he decides to run with the football, there's no one to account for him, and he turns it into a nice gain. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Working from the gun, Mahomes. They complete it to Hill. Mahomes. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. A gain of five brings up second and five at the Ravens' 19-yard line. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. From the gun, it's Mahomes. He'll find Clyde Edwards-Alaire. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Seven yards there at a first down. We often talk about understanding the playbook, understanding progressions, and understanding what the defense is doing. We saw all of that on that play. Great recognition and understood where his running back was going to be. Found a way to have him leak out underneath, hit him with the football, and they picked up the first down. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. And again, it's Mahomes. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Not that time for Watkins, and it's third down. This drive, which was going so smoothly, all of a sudden, it's a little bit of a roadblock here with two straight incompletions. Yeah, apparently this defense has had enough. Apparently they're saying, no more. We're speaking to stand right here, right now. But it is third and ten. They've got to get after him one more time. Throwing is Mahomes on third. This is caught by Hill for a Chiefs touchdown. Complete to number 10. Tyreek Hill there to make the grab. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. That's why you've got your star out there. Throw the ball to him. They did. That's simply saying we don't care what coverage you put out there. He's so good. We're going there with the football anyway. And there's not a thing you can do about it. Inside the red zone, they go to him. He gets it done. Harrison Bunker is on for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. Makes the score Chiefs 10, Ravens nothing.
Harrison Butts. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. And last drive, three and out. Still a goose egg on the scoreboard. How do they break that goose egg? They've got to find a way to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers, get them some space, and try and make a first down and get some momentum going. It's been a struggle for them throughout the game, and that three and out on the last possession, that told you just how stalled they are on offense. So who will step up here? We'll see. No gain on the play. Another nice play there by Chris Jones, a pro bowler for the first time in 2020, a five-year man out of Mississippi State. I would dare say plenty more Pro Bowls for him coming up. On second down, Ingram. So he got free of one tackle but couldn't do a whole lot else. Two runs in a row but only two yards to show for it. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. To throw on third down, Jackson. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he's going to be brought down short of the first at about the 31-yard line. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Off play action, he'll throw to start the drive. That one complete to Hill. And he's got daylight. It's a foot race. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Tyreek Hill, Hill with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chiefs add on to their lead. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come? I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. And his kick is good, and flags fly as well. Some frustration showing through right now. This is going to be a roughing call. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And this one will not be handled. It's into the end zone for a touchback. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you don't down. Want to. I know, but oh, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you just you called it. I think you just called a desperation time. I, I think did. you did. But yeah. let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been in there right from the start we've noticed that they've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating to use a boxing analogy now that's the way you want to start a drive talk about a tone setter as well as a playbook opener now if you want to take a big shot over the top you're all positioned to do so a good position to be in here second and inches now a handoff to Ingram Seven yards there and a first down. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. First and ten, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Here's Jackson. He's got his man. It's Andrews. 
They'll contain him to just four, second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. A handoff. It's Mark Ingram. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Tackle made at his 48. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. From the gun on third down, Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies unable to get it done. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And a fair catch called for and made at the 12-yard line. It's just a 32-yard punt with no return. And the Chiefs are going to take over with a long field ahead and a first and 10. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. The drive will begin with a run by Edwards Alaire. And he'll be taken down at the 18. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Well, I think after that run, the defense is getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? On second down and four, Mahomes, open man is Hill, he's got it. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. First down. Talk about a big first half, already has the two touchdowns, adding to his receiving total there and picking up the first down. He's coming off the line so fast. I think he's intimidating the defensive backs with his explosiveness, and he's chipping away at their confidence. Mahomes complete to his tight end. It's Kelsey. Mahomes Not much there, only a yard. I know when you got a top tight end like this, you want to get him involved, but when you do, you're hoping for more than that. You certainly are. You've got to try and get him some space where he can make a play downfield or at least an opportunity for some rack yardage, right? That run after catch. Second and nine. They go play action. Now Mahomes. And his throw's going to be incomplete. He was looking again for Kelsey there on that play. And now it's third down. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense. Because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. Eluding the pressure right. Pretty solid gain of seven yards that time as he scrambled, but now they face a fourth down. I like his effort there. He got it done on his own, but let's face it. He puts defenses in a really stressful spot when he takes off and runs because a lot of guys have coverage responsibilities. Good job of rallying, though, because I thought when he first took off, he might pick up the first down. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard the the line. Not too bad. At their own and now Baltimore line. gets set to take the field. And right now, these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with them punting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. It'll be a gain of two, and speaking of twos, it'll take us to the two-minute warning the 18-yard line.
Throwing on second and eight. Jackson. They set up the screen for Dobbins. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. 11 yards there, first down. It's been a very one-sided game so far. they got to change what they're doing right now, don't they? You can't wait till the halftime speech to make an adjustment. No, you can't, because if you're doing it right, you're adjusting from series to series, and they need a big adjustment here to try to put some points on the board. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. And a terrific return there. They're finally able to corral him down near the 11-yard line. Now a first and 10 at the 11. At the 11-yard line. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. That catch good for only a couple. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. To Travis Kelsey. A nine-yard touchdown there. And the Chiefs are able to grow their lead. All-pro tight end Travis Kelsey had 97 catches last year in the regular season on his way to a Super Bowl title with Kansas City. And while he's a weapon anywhere on the field, as you get closer to the end zone, you really have to look out. Witness what he did in the playoffs. Three touchdown catches against Houston in the divisional round and a big one in the Super Bowl against San Francisco, which keyed Kansas City's comeback. Butker on for the PAT. And the lead is now 24. Makes the score, Chiefs 24, Ravens nothing. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. This taken in about four yards deep, and Hill will opt for the touchback. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're gonna get all these points back on one drive, you're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed, but all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. And they'll work from the 29 on second and six. From the gun, Jackson. That'll be taken in there by Miles Boykin. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. fake the give to Ingram now Jackson and going deep downfield for Boykin and they will take over at the 26 yard line intercepted by the Chiefs 
they'll take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. Mahomes now on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. All right, CD, I want to fit in your preseason predictions here. This now our fifth year together in the booth. Hard to believe time flies, but it's an annual tradition that you tell us how you think things are going to shape up in each conference. Let's start with your thoughts on the AFC. All right, let's start in the East. I like the Bills. In the South, I like Indianapolis, despite their loss on opening day. In the north, I like Baltimore, and out west, of course, I like Kansas City. For wild cards, I like the Chargers coming out of the west. I think that in the east, New England is going to get the nod. And then out of the north, I'm taking Pittsburgh. Remember, we got that extra team in the playoffs this year. And then when the playoffs break down, I do think it's going to come down to Baltimore and Kansas City in the AFC. And Baltimore, by a nose, goes to the Super Bowl. And just to be different from you, I like your conference championship matchup. I'll take Mahomes and the Chiefs heading back to the Super Bowl yet again. down Mahomes it's Hill complete and taking it across midfield and inside the 45 now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play First and ten, here's Mahomes. He'll find his running back, Edwards Alaire. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. They get ten more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Chiefs. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with ten seconds to go before halftime. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. From the left hash, it's an even 50-yard attempt. And that is no good. And this score will stay right where it is. And this is one of the risks you run when you attempt a long field goal. If you miss, the defense takes over to spot of the placement. So now they've got a chance to get one more drive in before halftime. Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Chiefs on top as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, ready for the start of the third quarter. The Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Here comes the Chiefs offensive unit as they'll have it to begin quarter number three. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Derek Wolf there on the tackle. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. That's on Colecio Semele, the guard. And 
And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. And going deep for Hill. And it's knocked away and incomplete. The Pro Bowler Tyreek Hill, the intended receiver. Third down here. When you look at the scoreboard, you'd think they'd be pretty comfortable right now with this lead. But these guys are absolutely not going to let up. They want to increase their lead, and they want to do it with a big play. Unable to connect in that attempt. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. And that one drops incomplete as he got popped as he was throwing it. So no problems moving the ball in the first half, but they'll likely come up empty here on drive one of quarter three. And it was so important for the defense to get that stop because what we witnessed in the first half was them getting run over. And they needed the confidence, and they needed to get off the field so they felt good going forward in this game. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And the Ravens, they'll take over. The Ravens offense getting ready now for their first possession of the second half. And Charles, they trail by three scores. Look, they're not completely out of this, but it's sort of go time right now. Yeah, and they knew that coming out after halftime, it was going to take a collective effort to get back into this ball game. The defense got the stop for them, so maybe that can get things started. Now the offense has to pick their game up as well. And if they can put a score on the board, hey, they could get back in it in a hurry. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Back to the ground, this time with Ingram. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. 15 yards on the play, first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. No gain there on the completion, second and 10. That was a nice throw out there to the flat, but they defended that pretty well. The hope is to go ahead and put it on him so he can turn and get upfield and gain additional yardage. It just wasn't anywhere to go on that play. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and 10. A shotgun snap and a give to Dobbins. And he's gonna be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially nothing on that one, no gain, so they're left with still 10 to go on third down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker, and what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. On third down, Jackson. They go screen. This is Ingram. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. Here's Sam Cook now as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. And this one's out of bounds. Should be inside the 10, I think it is, at the six-yard line. So they'll play the field position game here as a very nice punt is going to pin them back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis, or do you prefer ping pong, you know, back and forth like that? But it definitely was excellent, wasn't it? Throwing on first down is Mahomes. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Got a man open. It's Ricky Seals-Jones. Oh, now he's stripped. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Ravens. Bobby 
obviously you gotta hold on to the football but I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to, and if they're good, anticipate the contact coming and try and cover up the football. And they still find ways to knock it free. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. That goes for a Chiefs first down, 14 yards. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. Right back to Edwards Hilaire on first down. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. Not the kind of game that will go absolutely crazy for, but it's the kind of game that you need to have when you're running back in the NFL. And Clyde Edwards Hilaire, with that low center of gravity and strength, he's going to get those tough, gritty yards for you when necessary. From the 30 on second down, Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. It'll be a three-yard game, and it'll bring up a second down. Second down at the 41. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. Coming up on second and seven. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Man, open left side. It's his running back with it. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A gain there of 21 yards. And a first down. So with a yardage on that completion, he's now right at exactly 300 yards on the game. And isn't that the magic number you get? All right, 300. That means it's going to go on a commemorative football to put on your mantle when they give you the game ball if your team wins. So much confidence flowing through him right now, throwing the football. I think it's permeated itself throughout the entire team. They feel good about what they're doing. Sammy Watkins is a former first-round pick in the NFL, and he sure reminded us during Kansas City's run to the playoffs last season. Ten catches in the AFC Championship game and a 98-yard receiving game in Super Bowl 54. He did talk about possibly stepping away and getting some time in the offseason. But Kansas City, very happy to have him back in their lineup and in their fold. That one, a first down pickup of eight. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. That to his running back, Edwards Hilaire. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. Partner, I think a little bit of surprise was registered around the league when Clyde Edwards Alaire went in the first round to Kansas City, not because people didn't think he was a good player, but many other running backs were ranked ahead of him, but he absolutely fits what they do in Kansas City. Compact, takes care of the football, can catch it out of the backfield, and pass protects as well. He could be a star in their system. No, oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. In the early days of the NFL, you could easily blame these drops on maybe some uneven or uncertain lighting in a stadium. Not anymore. The lights are pretty good. Yeah, they're great here at night, but his second drop indeed. Not a good look. From the gun on third down, Mahomes gets this one to Hill. Six yards in the wrong direction that time. Not only that, but it brings up fourth. When you lose that kind of yardage on a pass play, you often expect it to be a sack. But that wasn't the case there. They completed the pass. Probably would have been better off just dropping the football and making an incompletion as opposed to catching it and losing that kind of yardage. 39-yard attempt. Butker's kick here is good. And the lead increases even further. It's 27 to nothing now. 
So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coach is always talking about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point or in this case, a field goal. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. Returning it just as Hill. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The Ravens offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is, just what you said, you've gone over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. They might need to go to the emotional <laughs> side because you've got to find something, some spark somewhere. And so far, just being calm hasn't exactly worked. They need any spark at this point. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. At the 23, it's second and 12. They run from the pistol with Ingram. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. Frank Clark there on the stop. A gain of one brings up third and 12. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. From the gun, it's Jackson. And going deep downfield for Boykin. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. I'm getting the sense that this offense is getting frustrated. Here we are into the third quarter, and they've had plenty of opportunities to get in sync. Thus far, that hasn't happened. They're looking for answers both on the sidelines and in the huddle looking at each other. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Here's Hardman to return. 13 yards the tally on the return there. And now here comes Kansas City. And last time they were able to churn some clock. They got the field goal, added on to their lead. But that was a drive that was so long, it should have ended in a touchdown. You know that's how they felt. And we'll both be headed to the airport after the game, but we probably should go to the post-game press conference because someone's going to ask the head coach about this drive, and he's going to profess that he was happy to get points, and we know that's not true. Okay, after this type of a drive, not getting a touchdown, a huge disappointment. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Every year I go to the combine, I marvel at the speeds that linebackers are running nowadays. They run like DBs, and let's face it, they know how to finish plays, too. Eyes up, head up, run right through them. On second and 11 now, Mahomes, and he almost intercepted it. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first, and it's third down now. Complete. Tight end has become a bigger and bigger part of the passing game in the NFL, but if you drop the football, that position can get swapped out with a you know, wide receiver in that spot, a running back in that spot. There are other ways they can go if you're not going to catch the ball. And that's not just his first drop, his second drop of the game. Here's the Chiefs punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. And this punt goes out of bounds, and it'll be marked inside the 40. And the Ravens taking the field. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, 
That is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. And this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Now that's a run that warms a play caller's heart because you're actually set up to do whatever you want on offense. You come right back and run essentially the same play because you have momentum. Or you can fake that running play and throw something deep over the top. Or you now feel like you have an extra down to play with because if you go ahead and just throw it and you don't get it, come back and try and pick it up on third down. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. It's a first down on a gain of 10. First and 10 at the 41-yard line. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Dobbins running out of the gun. Able to push forward for about four yeah, down to the 37. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Ravens, nothing. From the 37, they work on second and six. Jackson from the shotgun, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. Not at all what they envisioned on third down, three yards in the wrong direction. I don't know how well our microphones are picking it up for those of you at home, but uh, Charles, you and I can hear it. A lot of groans right now coming from this crowd. I don't know if we're picking up what's happening in the stadium or from the people who are supporting this team at home because it's coming through loud and clear to you and me. This offense, they've been stuck in neutral much of the game. And on that last play, they actually went in reverse. I think this crowd would have liked neutral, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> neutral would have strongly been preferred. They'll take anything positive at this point. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at the 40. Here's Edwards Alaire as they will start on the ground. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. A gain of three, second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. On third down, here's Edwards Alaire. And he'll get this up near midfield, but that's still a few yards shy of the first down. Well, seven yards on the carry there, but now they're staring at fourth down. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. It might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. 
Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. Jackson on first down, stepping up. He's going to keep it, and they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can, and that's what he's done very well in this game. The 14-yard line. Second and two. Operating from the gun, Jackson catches made by Marquise Brown, and they're able to bring him down at the 20. Seven yards there at a first down. First and 10 at the 20 yard line. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. Now there's a quick throw caught by Andrews. Come give him nine there on the first down completion. It's a game nice rhythm game. throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. They'll come up now on second and a yard. From the gun. Jackson. He's got his man. It's Andrews. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. A couple of first downs have him to the 40 now on first and 10. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Got to give some credit there defensively. They snuffed out that screen early on first down. Really read it well, didn't they? Because they didn't bring the pressure that they expected. They covered all the passing lanes. So once you see a breakdown as the passer, I think in this situation, you're throwing it at the feet of your back to make sure no one picks it off, or you throw it away, throw it over the sideline. Don't try and freelance and try and make a bigger play. There's really no one else running a pattern that should be open. The Ravens on third down, as bad as you can be. 0 for 7 thus far. This is third and 9. And Jackson throwing once more. He can run for it, and he will. Jackson always a threat to run. He's got the first down. He was the NFL's leading rusher among QBs a year ago. Normally we're talking about a quarterback duel where they're matching each other pass for pass. How about the footwork in this one? Both of these guys running the ball well. Yeah, they've mixed in the run game. You're exactly right. Now, both coaches might not like how much their quarterbacks <laughs> have taken off, but another example right there of just good mobility. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Here's second and ten. From midfield now, here's Jackson. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Jackson. Another pass attempt, another incompletion, and they're just a little over 100 yards passing here in this game, so defensively, pretty good job. Definitely, because they were never really able to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers. So a lot of credit to the defensive game plan, and especially the execution. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. From the gun, Jackson. Got a man, it's Brown. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. 
Just a five-yard pickup, but it leads to fourth down. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up. Keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. They're going on fourth down. It's Jackson. And this is incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Chiefs defense comes up with a stop. Well, that's another mistake there on the drop pass on fourth. And we've seen him do things like this all game. It's not hard to figure out why they're down by that deficit. They haven't made plays that are going to keep them in the game or win the game all game long. That's another example right there. It all boils down at the end of it to execution. Either you make the play or you don't. Pushing forward for three up to the 48. Tackle me. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a game considering the blitz that they just had against them. Second and six. No, scratch that. Second and seven. They'll run with a backup. This is Williams. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. And finally taken down at the 35-yard line. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. Another example of this offense really having their way, Charles, and another big chunk play there on the ground. And when you look at the defense, they've got to do a much better job of wrapping up when they tackle. A lot of great opportunities continue to slip through their fingers, as do the runners. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. He's brought down. Matt Judon there to bring him down. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. On second down, a run with Edwards Alaire. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him. After the delay, they're backed up even further for third and long. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. He's got They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll only get this to about the 35, well short of the line to gain. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. It's now fourth down. So on fourth down, Mahomes off. Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs' field goal. This will be kicked from the 42. It's a 52-yard attempt. And his kick is good. Oh, he just did tuck it into the bottom of that left corner. And that will just add three more to a lead that's already out of hand. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? To the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. The dangerous hill now to return. 
And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Here comes the Raven offense now, ready for another possession. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 27. He'll set up to throw from the gun. This will be caught by Brown. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Operating from the gun. Jackson, and this will be incomplete. Trying to get it to Willie Sneed there, and that'll bring up second down. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense, they're just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Again on second and ten, it's Jackson rolling to his right. Now he'll pull it down. And he'll be taken down, but not before in the enemy territory. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. First and ten at the 48-yard line. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. Fighting a safety valve here. That's complete. Jackson, seven yards on the play. And it'll make it a second down. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three. At the Chiefs, 41-yard line. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Mike, 53. 53. Mike. To throw again on second down. Jackson, now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is caught. Touchdown, Baltimore. J.K. Dobbins, 41 yards. And the Ravens cut into that lead. So they will get on the scoreboard here. Give them credit for that. Too little, too late, but no zero. Are you, you're going slow clap on me. <laughs> Not very nice, is it? No, but they haven't been very nice on offense. It's been a struggle. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that will shave a bit off the lead as it's down to a 23-point game. So it would no doubt be a miracle comeback from here, but let's see what they can do starting with the onside kick. And the Chiefs are going to make the recovery. The onside kick is recovered. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. With his carries tonight, they're getting up there, so maybe one of those every now and then is understandable. I would agree with that. Understandable every now and then. Sometimes you come back and you fake it to him and go play action, but other times you say, okay, they got him on that one. We'll come back to him in another carry. They'll run here with Edwards Hilaire. And give him.
him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. The Ravens bring out an extra defensive back here on third. They'll run. It's Edwards Alaire. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. So this one in the win column for Kansas City. And it was their defense that really paved the way to this victory as they allowed the one touchdown. And that was all she wrote. Almost want to do the defense chant right now, right? Defense with a couple of claps in there, but no one wants to hear that from me. Let's just talk about how they got it done, though. When you take care of every aspect of the game, shut down the run, control the airways, right? Make sure the quarterback is harassed. This type of performance you get. They can't fashion together any offense, no consistency, and they just took control. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. From Baltimore, good night, everybody.